Yeah, I get messages talking about binary options all the time. People always asking, how do you trade them? I sometimes think to myself, like, if they are so easy to trade, if they're that great to trade, then why is everyone asking what strategies are going to work and there's no one actually out there who's raking in the cash and saying that they're making money from binary options? Yeah, I've been trading for over a decade and I've been teaching about trading for a couple of years now and I still, to this day, will never recommend binary options to people. But I understand the appeal because they're so short term in it just seems like you can make a lot of money very quickly. It's like a get rich quick thing. They don't talk about like long term sustainability consistency in trading. They talk about short term wins, making more money in a couple of trades than you could make in potentially like a week or a month of normal spot trading. Let me tell you a little story about it, okay? Let me take you on the adventure, the journey that I went on in learning about binary options. And this was after I was already an experienced trader. So the first time that I ever saw binary options was actually at William Hill, Will Hill. It's a, a gambling company in the UK and they had a section on their website that said financials. So I clicked on it obviously wondering what financials meant in terms of gambling and saw these short term options where you chose whether the market would go higher or lower in the next minute, two minutes, something like that. And so I had a little flutter, £20 in the account and made it up to like £35, then lost the money. It was just money that was in the account anyway. And I thought, you know, it's quite interesting, but there's no way you can consistently make money of them from, from that type, type of trading. But then, you know, I started hearing about it all the time. People just kept talking about binary options all the time. So I started thinking, like, what is this all about? And I went on to Google and searched and found that actually there was a huge amount of hits. And in fact, if you look at some of the search terms, you can see that binary options get searched a lot more than some of the more common trading search terms, which means that binary options are becoming more and more popular. They're a real growing market. Unbelievable. So, of course, me running an asset management company at the time, I, I thought to myself, well, surely we've got to capitalize on this because if people are really interested in binary options, then maybe they want to be interested in investing their money in something that's dealing in that sort of financial instrument. So that's when we really started to look into it. And it was during this time that things really started to unfold about how deceptive the industry is, how bad it was. So my first steps into the market with binary options was that we, we took a thousand pounds and basically used that, just taking half the money each time and scaling up, scaling up. And within half a day, we'd made 10,000 pounds, which seemed fantastic. It was like, wow, 1,000 pounds to 10,000 pounds. Yes, it was a very aggressive strategy in terms of the position size, but we thought, okay, we've got something here. This is interesting. So we carried on, still following the same system that's been so consistent for us before. And suddenly, by the end of the day, there was no profit left. We were back down to the thousand pounds again. So we thought, how is this possible? With other trading that we'd normally do, then you'd be able to just consistently increase it. So maybe you wouldn't get the 10,000 pounds in half a day, but you'd at least be like just growing linearly, at least, maybe not exponentially, but at least linearly, growing the account bit by bit and just slowly increasing, slowly making profits. But it wasn't the case. So we thought, okay, if we're gonna find a way to adapt our system, to take the Forex trading system that we've been using and to use it for binary options, we're gonna to have to go through some iterations first. So let's drop down to be on a demo account and see what happens. And it was at this point that the deceptive nature of the brokers in the binary option industry became clear to us. Every time with a demo account that you had a trade that was close or you know that was about to expire and you were maybe out of the money a little bit, there'd be fluctuations in their data to make sure that you finished in the money and made profit. It was kind of like when casinos want you to, to try all their, their slot machines and stuff online and they make you win consistently, like they increase the odds of winning so that you win more consistently. And of course, in a one minute binary option, the market movements within one minute most of the time are quite tight. So some changes in data like using the bid ask the bid price instead of the ask price and things like that can work to manipulate the data enough to make sure that you win money more consistently than normal so when this became evident to us we decided okay we have to use a small amount of money but real money so that these sort of fluctuations by the broker won't happen so we started trading 10 pounds each time and on one occasion that 10 pounds grew into 8100 pounds but Lo and behold, it wasn't consistent, and that was one off and it didn't happen again. You could sometimes make some smaller profit, but most of the time you'd be losing. Because the thing about binary options, because the risk reward was so out of favor, 
like you're putting too much on the line for a relatively small amount of reward. I like think about trading for example, usually I'll go for at least a three to one trade, which means that I'm risking one to make potentially three. With binary options, you're risking one to make 0.8 in most cases, because you get an 80% return. But the way that they sort of advertise this, wow, you can make an 80% return like that, like in two minutes, sounds amazing. But when you put it in perspective, you're risking one for 0.8 doesn't sound so appealing. So at this point we were talking to brokers who provided services where you could have linked accounts. So you could be like a, a service provider, open the trades and the linked accounts would open the trades as well. So we opened up the account, we were actually set up and we were still trying to make our system work and it still wasn't working. So we weren't opening any trades. I think to start with we opened three trades and two of them were right and, and one of them was wrong or something like that. But then suddenly the guy was on the phone all the time, the person that was dealing with us, he was like the, the COO or something of this company. This guy was super irritating, really brash, really, really defensive all the time, didn't seem like he knew so much about trading but pretended that he did and seemed more like he had a gambling background. The COO was on the phone and he was saying to us, look guys, I really need you to start bringing people on board. You know, I realized that their intention was not to provide a good service. Their intention was for us to bring more people to open accounts with them because it's just like a casino. You know, with online gambling websites, sports betting, they offer you these huge bonus introductory offers just, just to try and get you to deposit money because they know eventually you're gonna lose it all because that's just what happens when the odds are against you. Odds are there for a reason. Odds are there to show you that over a long term, this is what you can expect to happen. So if the odd, odds are like you're gonna make 0.8 for risking one, over the long term, in general, you're going to be losing money. So this guy was desperate for us to bring in people to deposit their money. And it was at that point we just said, no, had enough of it. Binary options are not consistent enough to make money from them at the odds that they're providing. It's not one to one, it's 0.8 to one, which throws off the whole thing. And all these companies are just trying to get people in through dodgy practices. They don't care how they get deposits from people as long as they get deposits. And that just didn't work for us at all. So we said no more. And now in hindsight, when you really look at it, you can see the type of marketing these companies do. They are just like casinos. They offer you bonus offers. They offer you the quickest withdrawals. It's all about the money side of things rather than the execution, rather than the amount of markets that they offer, rather than the actual trading stuff. They care more about the money side. It's all about you can get rich quickly or you can make a quick buck for doing very little work. But in reality, they're actually worse off than doing normal trading because like I said, the risk reward is so off. So my first bit of advice for any traders that are wanting to get into trading binary options is to just avoid it, just don't do it. Learn how to trade normally with the markets because you see with binary options, there are certain ways that you can use them well, but not on their own, not as the only investment vehicle. You can use them for, say for example, balancing in a portfolio if you've got binary options that can last a day. You can use them for like hedging and things like that if you have binary options that can last a bit longer. But the one or two minute ones, the five minute ones, 50 minute hour, they're not really gonna work out well for anyone consistently. So if you're looking for the days and things like that, the day long ones or a week, if you can find them, then those ones can be good for balancing your portfolio, hedging against some of your trades, taking some risk off the table for trades you've already got in play. So if you're gonna use it for that, then fine, that's, that's a good way to go ahead. But if you still are keen on trading it, and I'm guessing that if you are, then you must be a beginner to trading, then there's a few things that you must focus on to make sure you don't lose so much money. So the first thing is to really track your strategy in, um, in a demo account or track it on paper even better and really take down the performance statistics, see how it performs. Is it a 60% success rate? Is it 70%? Make sure you have guidelines for how to really stick to that system. And then once you have your success rate for each of them, then you can take the, the sort of stats and the position size that you've been using, all of that kind of thing, you can throw it into an online calculator for the Kelly criterion, okay, Kelly criterion, and find out what position size you should be using each time to be most optimal. The second thing is that you should focus on the hierarchy of time frames. So we talk about this in the ebook, the Duomo Method, which you get free for signing up for our Inner Circle mailing list. We also talk about it in our inner, in our mini series that you get on the Inner Circle and in our full online course in more detail. But it's basically that the time frames have a certain hierarchy and a certain way that they interact with each other. So I'm talking like a one hour candle is obviously made up of four 15 minute candles, but there's certain rules that come with that about 
choosing which setups come first. But you can use this sort of um, information to plan a binary option trade if you're going to. But I'm still saying it's not consistent to trade them, but you can at least increase your odds a little bit. Because by understanding the time frames, like with binary options, it's essentially a trade with an expiry time. So with trading, you can keep your trade open as long as you need to before the market starts moving in your direction. And often it's really difficult to really predict exactly when something's going to happen. But by using the hierarchies of time frames and waiting until one setup's broken and there's a higher time frame that hasn't been broken, you can then say, okay, I've got 10 minutes left of this candle and it's meant to go bullish now, I can enter a 10 minute binary bullish, like that kind of thing. But you've got to just make sure you have a strategy that's logical, it's got to be more about price action, unfortunately, and more about finding the exact turning points in the market. But really, I know it can seem so appealing, especially with all that crazy marketing about how quick you can make money with binary options, but just trust me, I've made so much more money from trading Forex, even starting off with smaller accounts, than I could ever make with binary options. If me as a professional trader can't make it consistent with binary options, and I mean really consistent, not just luck for a couple of weeks or a couple of months, but I'm talking years. So I mean, even if you're gambling money on the flip of a coin, you can have a run, a winning streak of like months and weeks. Of course you can, but consistently over the long term, you're gonna be 50-50. And with binary options, consistently over the long term, you're gonna be less than that. So if I, as a professional trader of over 10 years, can't make binary options work, then beginner traders are not going to be able to either. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I know it's something different, a bit over the top, a bit extreme. I wanted it to look like a little documentary movie. And the reason is because I get a lot of questions about binary options and I've already, explained about them in the past and saying to avoid them and I always answer everyone saying to avoid them but I thought what better way of getting people's attention and making them really realize why they shouldn't be trading binary options than to do something extreme that catches your attention. So we made a little movie like this I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you take the points on board. Remember guys, if you like this video, then hit the thumbs up button. I'd appreciate it because me and the team, we've put in a lot of work on putting this one together for you. And if you want more videos about learning to trade, hit the subscribe button, leave any questions that you have in the comment section below and we'll answer every single one of those. Guys, I really appreciate you watching this. I'd appreciate it even more if you shared it as well with people that you know that are interested in trading, interested in trading binary options, and just in general might get caught up in the whole thing. So share it with them. I appreciate you watching. Thank you very much. Take care. I'll see you in the next video.